Welcome to Parent Shift, Episode 5, with your Parent Shifters, Linda and Ty Hatfield, Parenting from the Heart. Today we are continuing on our journey with the emotional needs of your child, and it's seven emotional needs, and we came up with this acronym, if you'll recall, called SPECIAL, and SPECIAL stands for the emotional needs, and we are in the middle of them. We have a little bookmark here we're going to review them with you real quick. S stands for smile, fun, laughter, and play. P stands for powerful. E stands for explore. And C stands for connection. And today, Linda's going to talk about two of the continued emotions, which is important. Every child needs to feel important. And A stands for attention. And I'm hiding the last one. (laughs) So, uh, Linda, you're going to talk about the uh, importance of important and attention. Okay, so I stands for important, and important really means that a child feels loved and cherished and adored and special, and that they're really honored in their family for the unique spirit of who they are. And children feel important when we ask them about their feelings or when we ask them about their ideas or about their opinions about things. And, you know, sometimes it can be hard to hear those answers, especially when we don't agree with what they're saying. Um, Another great way to help our kids feel important is, um, you know, even maybe to ask them, what shoes should I wear today? Or where do you want to go on vacation? Or, um, you know, where hmm, I bought a new painting. Where do you think I should hang it? So little things like that really uh, create a container for your child to feel important and to feel like they're a contributor in the family. We're going to talk about other ways to help our children feel important um, in the upcoming weeks, but for now, that's about all the information I'm going to give on that letter. Actually, can I add one thing? Sure. I think that uh, we're going to, in another episode, we're talking about feelings, the importance of feelings, but they feel important when we acknowledge their feelings and allow them and say it makes sense that you feel that way. We're going to talk about that a lot more, but when we acknowledge that versus you shouldn't feel that way or you've got so many games to play with, you know, deflecting the feeling. So allowing the feeling and acknowledging it is really important. Yes. Children feel cherished, adored, loved, a contributor in the family, and that their feelings are important and make sense to you. And that feels good to a child. They feel loved. Thank you. So the next letter is attention. So, or is A for attention. So what does attention mean? Well, authentic attention is really about being present with your child. Um, You know, children typically do not get enough attention. Um, Adults don't get enough attention. And some kids are needier than others. Some kids need more attention than others. Others, it's it's an emotional need. We can't really say, oh, you don't need as much attention and you do need more attention. That it's how the child perceives their world. Um, in the old paradigm style of parenting, you know, typically was just ignore the child and the behaviors will go away. No, the behaviors do not go away. They will escalate, and the child will create more and more drama to be seen Uh, and be heard. (laughs) So ignoring your child is not helpful. It's actually very hurtful, and it does not create an authentic connection with them. So typically when we're little, like when Ty was five, I'm sure he was brought up to the curb and was going to be taught how to cross the street. So typically your parent would bring you up to the curb and they tell you to stop, look, and listen. Hmm? So I say stop, look, and listen to your children to stop what you're doing, get off your phone, put down the newspaper. Even I used to turn off the stove and then turn around and face our children. Um, And then we want to look. So we want to face our children heart to heart. Um, We want to get on their level and we want to look into their eyes. And we want to get on their level because it balances the energy. It creates rapport. It makes you look friendly. 
um, and we want to look into their eyes because they are important to us and we love our children so much and we want to send that message. So my other little saying is to um, face them eye to eye, skin to skin, heart to heart. And now when we do that, we can just listen and listen with the ears of our heart, which means I'm not giving advice. I'm not trying to fix anything. I'm not trying to solve anything. I'm zipping it up as much as possible and I'm just being present and listening to what my child has to say. And when I do that, I create an authentic connection. I give my child authentic attention, and now they feel seen and heard, and they don't have to create so much drama um, and escalate to be seen and heard. They got filled with that emotional need. I just want to comment on the stop, look, and listen thing. I had a flashback to, uh, I've told you a story, but... I just had this flashback about um, running away from preschool. And that's the first time I remember stop looking and listening. Oh. I, <laughs> I escaped with this other girl we were four and went to the street light. I pressed the button. I stopped. I looked. I listened. And then when it was green, I ran across the street and ran home. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I needed more attention from my mom, I think. And, you know, right. <laughs> so yeah. I got it. <laughs> and I will get it met. And uh, so today's quarantine tip is about uh, combining both of these, actually, important and attention. And especially during times of quarantine, you might have, if you have more than one kid, you're busy working or cooking and cleaning and just your kids are so busy, you're busy. But what we want you to do is have special time with each child every day, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, more if possible, but just uh, set this up every day going, what? Okay, it's time for special time with just you and me, one-on-one. No siblings, no other spouses, no aunts, no uncles, and no pets, no, whatever. <laughs> and uh, you want to play checkers with them or drawing with them or Barbies. Dads, you got to play with your kids with Barbies. You know, it's what they want to do, not what you want to do. Right? Ask right? your kids, yeah. right? Ask your kids. I'm setting aside 10 minutes for you, 15 minutes for you. And what is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to do right. for that time? Right. And sometimes we've got reports back in our classes that the kids say, I don't know, you know, mm -hmm. and because they're not used to being empowered to decide what you're going to do with this special time. Mm -hmm. So they love it and it will meet their emotional needs greatly. So do it mm -hmm. as much as possible. And uh, we have a quote that goes with this that's from our parenting manual that we use in our parenting class. Uh, demanding, and this comes from these famous people, Ty and Linda Hatfield, <laughs> famous here in Huntington Beach at our house. Uh, demanding attention from you equals seeking a deeper relationship with you. So when you think they're annoying, irritating, disturbing you, ticking you off. They're just asking for a deeper relationship with you. They want more connection. That's such a uh, powerful paradigm shift when you think that your child is just wanting to create a deeper relationship with you and they're not trying to annoy you or irritate you or um, cause a problem. They just want to connect with you because they love you so much. You're their whole world, and that's all they're wanting is a deeper connection with you, and that's the only way they know how to get it. Right. Well said. And uh, just a little promotion here, our book, Parent Shift, 10 Universal Truths, that will change the way you raise your kids. And if you buy it on our website, parentingfromtheheart.com, comes with a audio of a workshop we did on Power Struggles, two and a half hours, and... Uh, Raise your hand out there if you are experiencing power struggles right now. The book is awesome for that, and uh, the audio or the audio is too. And then we've created the quarantine with kids. You're trapped. You're stuck. There's lots to do in here. What to do? How to talk to them? And everything is in there. And um, uh, upcoming is uh, Facebook Live. We're going to do next week. We'll have more information about that. Mm -hmm. We're exploring with Facebook Live. Yes, we are. And our emotional needs, right? Yes, we are. And our class starts in October, Parenting from the Heart. There's more information on our website. 
And so next time we come back, we'll cover what L stands for mm -hmm. and special. And finally, we send you off on your parenting journey with love, and we do so from, from the, the bottom, bottom of, of our, our hearts. hearts. Bye. See you next time.